Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest has been shining her light in the movie and theater scene for some time now. Right She's a two-time <laughs> Emmy-nominated actress and a fellow Rattler fam. You graduate, please welcome Kelsey Scott down to the circle. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Well, you look gorgeous, Thank and you look you. even more gorgeous because there's a there's something there's on a, your ring finger. There's a thing. Oh, there's a there's a there's a thing. There's a thing. She thing. is newly engaged. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Fabulous. Yes. <laughs> Malik is his name. Malik is his name. Mm. Malik oh, Elamine. Right, and he is, right. he, he is joy. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. that's real good. <laughs> you better guess. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. Yes. Yes. But, uh, happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Decade. Happy yes. New and Decade. And welcome home. Oh, yes. Back Thank to you. Atlanta. It's always good to be home. Yes. <laughs> so this is where you got your roots. Yes. 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 Hometown. Mm -hmm. So how, how does it feel to be back? Um, it always feels like coming home. It's all familiar. I get to see my family and my friends. This is this is one of the most important times of the year for me. I always come home during the holidays. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes, <laughs> right. yes. Well, you actually got your start on the uh, Robert Gillum show. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, tell us about that a little bit. Uh, well, I was a child actor. I, actually, I started in theater here in Atlanta on the stages of the Alliance and Jumanji Theater mm -hmm. and uh, Youth Ensemble of Atlanta, mm -hmm. Young Singers of Callawald, and um, eventually ended up on the Robert Gillum show as his daughter on, uh, on the sitcom. Um, and it was amazing to I work with that, that kind of veteran, show. right? Oh, yeah. yes. I'm talking about Angel. I remember that, 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 that show. Yeah. Yeah. I also, people, I don't do numbers, I do letters. <laughs> 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 I love it. I love it. Well, speaking of the stage, I mean, you've gone from the stage to the big screen so gracefully, and we're, you. we're well, you know, aware of your amazing work. You're a true lesbian. Mm -hmm. right? Oh, thank you. <laughs> and, um, uh, but one of the the movie, well, not not, not movie, but um, you were also in twelve. Um, uh, 12 Years a Slave. This is a movie. One of the movies that I actually love, yeah. 12 Years a Slave. Now, when I watch movies that um, depict slavery in the past, I always wonder, like, man, as an actor or an actress, how is it getting into character mm. for, for roles like this and having to, like, come out of it and not hate everybody when you come out of it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't want to fight everybody sometimes, when I come out of the character. Sometimes it is difficult to leave the work at work. Right. Um, yes. But, yeah, but getting there, getting to those types of characters, uh, it takes a process. Yeah. Um, and particularly for Anne, I mean, the story was really about Solomon, and so mm -hmm. there's yeah. not a lot about what happens to her during those 12 years. Like, yeah. what, what does it take to hold your family together to not know where your husband is initially not even just knowing and so yeah. what do you do how do you how do you mm. sustain yourself and so I had to kind of fill in those blanks and then getting there on the set I'm I'm kind of not the one that's immediately prone to tears mm. and I shot the movie uh, a year after my mother passed mm. and oh, wow. so uh, particularly for the last scene when she's supposed to um, to really kind of welcome him home and and release all of those feelings publicly mm -hmm. I had to ask my mother for help mm. and wow. so I um, there was a quilt that she had um, made for me before she died Mm -hmm. and I brought it to my trailer and we just had a conversation before that scene and I just asked her to help me to to release and to be vulnerable on mm -hmm. screen in a way that I generally don't do well in life and mm -hmm. so that's you just have to find where to dig for each role. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, my goodness. And you have just done phenomenally from Chocolate City. Chocolate City. <laughs> Chocolate City. Chocolate <laughs> City. Yes, the very beginning. <laughs> uh, also to Grey's Anatomy mm -hmm. and How to Get Away with Murder. Yes. Yes. My goodness. So, let's talk about Shonda Rhimes oh, and being in the Shonda, Shonda Rhimes universe. That world. Yeah, that world. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a blessing. Yeah. I mean, she has been able to to forge so many paths for fo so many careers that um, you have to admire not just um, her determination but her resilience because she's still around. Mm. So yeah, I, I love being a part of that universe, that world. It feels, uh, yeah. it feels, it feels good. It feels right. Yes, mm. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. You've also worked with Issa Rae. <laughs> <laughs> I love Viola Davis too, by the way. That's my girl crush. Uh, <laughs> but, but, but how, how do you feel like uh, women like? Issa Rae mm -hmm. and Shonda Rhimes, how do you think they changed the industry as far as diversity is Well, concerned? they've decided or they have discovered and they've discovered that the power is not in front of the camera only. You have to go behind the scenes. You have to be a content creator. You have mm -hmm. to be people making the decisions so that those changes can come. And so they have just leaned into that in a way that's been phenomenal. So, I mean, I loved working on Insecure and watching, meeting Issa in the makeup trailer and then seeing her change clothes after she's out of character and be behind the camera and mm. calling the shots. Yes. Yes. That's wow. beautiful. Yes. Yes. That's yes. beautiful. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, we're going to chat more with Kelsey <laughs> about her Emmy Award, well, Emmy nomination yes. and so much more. <laughs> we come back. Oh, we're 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 doing it out there. I like it. Let's, Let's do it out there. Yes. <laughs> this is a Thursday.
Thursday. She's going to get it. <laughs> right. Exactly. Right, right. Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We are here with actress extraordinaire, Miss mm -hmm. Kelsey Scott. Great yes. Scott! <laughs> Let's talk about your Emmy nomination yes. for a moment. Your role on the online show Giants, which yes. is also on Clear, our sister yes. company. Yes. Uh, so congratulations. Thank um, you. So where online platforms are taking the entertainment world. Let's talk about that for a moment because everything is going towards streaming. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So tell us about your experience with doing that type of work. Well, again, I think it's an opportunity for more content creation. I mean, the, the more distribution channels you have, the more voices that are able to be heard. People have channels to actually tell stories mm -hmm. that are diverse. And yes. so, you know, there, at, at one point, you know, you thought of something online and didn't give it any kind of credibility. Mm -hmm. And now it's like, if you're not considering that, then you're not really in the know. Oh, yeah. my guess. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, um, <laughs> your latest movie <laughs> Um, it's, speaking of your work, yeah. it's just so vast. <laughs> but your latest movie role is a movie called A Patient. You're in a movie called A Patient Man. Yes. Talk to us about the, your character in this movie. So the story centers on a, a man in the aftermath of a very terrible car accident. Mm -hmm. And so he's trying to put his life back together, um, mm -hmm. and I'm his therapist. Mm. Um, but in that quest to put his life back together, it actually kind of sets the stage for him to enact revenge on the people that he thinks are responsible. Oh, man. Yeah. So I'm part of that process trying to keep him on the straight and narrow. Yeah. <laughs> what was the process for you to get into that character as a therapist? You know, people think I have good advice a lot. You uh, do? Yeah, I mean, well, 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 maybe. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. I'm not going to take any credit for what happens afterward. But, uh, but yeah, I tend to I tend to get roles, you know, in, in authority positions, you know, whether it's law enforcement or lawyers or people who know some stuff. Yeah. Uh, so it, it kind of felt right and in line with what I normally do. But, you know, they give me the words so I just pretend they came from me. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, going all the way back uh, from where you started, you know, the stage at three, you said your first check at six. Mm. Um, <laughs> you know, Avondale High School, just mm -hmm. being on the Alliance Theater. What type of advice would you give to a young actor? Because we see so many of them do so well, and mm -hmm. then they get to a certain point, point, they're like, oh my God, what happened to you? Yeah. How were you able to avoid those pitfalls? My mother, mm -hmm. she insisted on me being grounded. I don't care how big the check was. She was like, now go take out the garbage. Right. <laughs> it was like, you know, okay. and, and so so things that I think that, that um, made other people have stars in their eyes, for me, it just was kind of part of the process yeah. and part of the work. Mm -hmm. And so I stayed in that mindset. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, and you could have gone anywhere. You decided to go to college. Like, you could have gone directly to right. Los Angeles mm -hmm. from um, DeKalb County. But she said, no, I'm going to go to college. Why was that so important for you as well? Again, mm -hmm. to be grounded. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, my mother was an educator and mm -hmm. she said you know I absolutely support your dreams and want you to go forward and do what it is that you love but I also want you to have this background I want to make sure that that you're set just in case mm -hmm. you know and you know and then I don't know that I, I was very happy about it but you know one of the best things in my life was going to FAMU. Um, I, I cannot imagine right. if I had not gone to Florida Agricultural Mechanical yeah. University. Oh, right, man. <laughs> well, Kelsey and Scott we thank you so much for coming. Oh, yes. Yes. Having having me. Today, this is great. Top of the year. Make sure to keep up with everything she has going on by following her on Instagram at Miss Kelsey Scott. And the amazing conversation always continues at Sister Circle TV on all social media platforms. Yes. Thank you Kelsey. Thank you. Thank you. Rattlers. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. Oh, <laughs>